and welcome to a new episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. In today's video, I'm still in Italy and taking out the Lumix GX80 for another spin. Just like with the Pentax in the video a couple weeks ago, I just started out from our accommodation and explored the neighborhood. Only a few streets away, I found my first potential composition. As you probably know by now, I find the aesthetic of these air conditioning boxes quite cool. <laughs> no pun intended. And this wall had two of them, and the wall itself had a pretty color. I set up a center-focused composition and got this. I think this is a wonderful start of the session. I love how this photo has so many lines, shapes and curves but still doesn't feel cluttered. I continued to walk up the road and found this street sign that is being covered by the tree next to it. I enjoyed how it looked like the tree was conquering the space and devouring the sign so I tried to get a shot of this scene. This is the result and I like it. The photograph effectively captures what stands out to me in the scene. Minor aspects I dislike here are the two distracting elements on the left side, the car and the sign. However, I didn't frame them out because that would have pushed the actual subject too far left for my taste. So much cuteness around here. Next, I was walking along another road and came across this house front with a satellite dish that caught my eye. I tried to find a composition that includes the house but still keeps the satellite dish as the subject. This is what I got and I think it works. The photograph is quite busy with so many little details one can pick out but nevertheless I find it not to be messy. It's busy but not in a bad way. I think the satellite dish stands out enough to be the point of focus but the subject here is the scene and all its details as a whole. Then I was about to leave the street, but before I could, my attention got caught by this area of the house right behind the scene I just photographed. This is the outcome and I think it's beautiful. Again, I enjoy all the details of all the items the people who live here have standing around. Also, I'd like to point out that cute pot shelf on the left which adds the perfect touch of colour to that otherwise blank white wall. I like how the shelf gets cut off by the edge of the frame and suggests the continuation of space. Then, on a different street, I was walking past this house and stopped to photograph the staircase here. The structure and shapes intrigued me here and so I tried to find a composition to capture this. Here's the result. I like how this turned out, especially that tree coming in from the left which adds some contrast to the otherwise geometrical photo. One thing I'd love to change here, however, is the emptiness of the wall on the right side. This part of the image just has a bit too little going on. Then, a little later, I came to this junction where I liked how the signs and the light were all aligned in that corner. Here's the photograph and I think it turned out nicely. This one is another one of those busier photos, but I still think the subjects here stand out quite clearly. Something else I was enjoying so much on this shoot in general was the lighting situation. The sun was actually pretty high, so not exactly ideal, but there was this light layer of clouds and haze that just slightly softened the hard light and gave it this beautiful state of being in between soft overcast light and harsh sunlight. Here, I was loving the scene in front of me, the yellow apartment building with the wash hanging from the wall and the green banister and the plants. Here's the result. The colors work so well here. The photograph is split into yellow and green tones, which in this particular case fit together beautifully. Then I was still at the same yellow building and was about to walk past it as I spotted a row of monoblock chairs. I had to get a photo of this scene. This is what I got. I love how this one turned out. It's a perfect addition to my collection of monoblock chairs. While many chairs I see around usually look old, worn out or broken, these seem to be taken good care of and the scene they're placed in suits this narrative. The photo feels clean and healthy in a way. Here too, the colors are almost entirely reduced to the wall's yellow and the tree's green. Except for that blue from the folded lounger next to the chairs. That spot of blue is placed quite conveniently actually, seeing as it pulls the attention to the middle where the chairs are. Yeah. 
then for a short while I didn't find anything until I came onto this road where I found this beautiful yellow house. This is the photograph I got and I'm so fond of it. For me personally, everything here aligns the way it should. The angle, the building, the red sign, the letters on the ground and more. I'm also in love with the outcome of the colours here. The warm yellows and browns with an occasional splash of contrast such as the red sign. This place is just so full with such beautiful colours. It's so cute around here. Then, as I came onto this road, I felt like shooting a simple wide shot of the road here because, similar to so many previous photos, I was intrigued by all the small details in this scene. This is the photo I got. I decided to concentrate the composition on only the right side to focus on the walls and gates. A little something I really appreciate here is that pot in the right corner. Next, I came to this junction where I spotted that gate across the road. I thought it was cool how the straight gate clashes against the sloping road. This is the shot I got. I like it, the idea with the road worked and additionally I enjoy the rubbish to the right of the gate. It adds this second point of interest but without distracting. Then, on the left side of the road here, do you see that red car? I thought that would be a wonderful point of interest for a wide shot of the scene. Here's the photo and I think it turned out great. This is one for the colours. Most of the picture is green or brown and then there's this strong pop of red and it turns out to be this old dirty car which by itself is already interesting to look at. Next, I found this pastel rose colour house and in front of it this phone pole that had some bushes climbing up it. I decided to try to compose a photograph that has the phone pole act as the subject but included surroundings in the photo to not place too much emphasis on only the pole but instead also highlight the house. This is it and I think it turned out nicely. Something I only noticed when looking at the photo afterwards is the amazing colour of the blinds that cover the windows. It fits so well into the whole colour palette of the photo. Then at the next junction my attention got pulled towards that red sign and the blue colour of the house behind. This is what I got. This one too is a photo for the colours. The subject matter and composition don't particularly stand out for me, but the colours, they do. I enjoy this trio of red, green and blue. Next, I was walking down this road and found this car with its boot held open with a stick. I thought this was an interesting scene, so I got a shot. This is it, and again, I'm fond of the colour palette created by the wall and the car. Then, right behind me was this house that had a big cloth or something hanging out to dry. The scene had this interesting mix of symmetry and non-symmetry and also clean minimalism and more busy parts. Then, it's time to show you how I got the last photograph of this session. But before I get into that, I would like to talk about something that, for me personally, is really exciting. With this video here, I've landed my first ever sponsor on this channel. This is a huge deal for me, seeing as this is an important step to bring me closer to my goal of making this channel a sustainable thing to do. So, here's a warm welcome to the first sponsor ever, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community for learning, well, skills, obviously. They have a platform with thousands of classes for creative people, so this goes from filmmaking, illustration, business, all the way to photography, which I guess is what would interest you the most. So Skillshare is basically a curated collection of video classes in which a teacher shares their knowledge. 
Because it's specifically laid out for efficient learning, the classes are neatly organized, and there are of course no ads, and additionally, they are constantly adding new classes to their collection. So, for example, a class I recently watched was by photographer Porter Yates. In his class, he teaches his process of photography and explains what separates his current photography from what he shot a couple years ago. What I enjoy a lot here is that this was not a technical class, but more about what to shoot and how to choose your subject. So, the people from Skillshare have created a link for me to share with you, with which the first 1000 people to click the link in the description get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. So, if you think this sounds interesting, I would much appreciate you using my link because that lets Skillshare know that you're from this community and that I'm doing a good job. Now, let me show you the last photograph of the session. I was walking down this road and approaching the main road that leads back to our accommodation, therefore I thought this was it. However, to the left, I happened to peek into the patio and saw this absolutely cute scene with so many flowers in these cute pots that were tidied up neatly in shelves. This is the photograph, and I think it beautifully captures the cuteness of the patio. At least I think it's really cute. I also love how the tree is leaning into the composition from the top, which adds a subframe to support the composition. I also like that moped with the yellow color that is just casually parked in here. This was definitely a pleasing way to end the session. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, please leave your thoughts in the comments. And do you have a particular photo that stands out? For me, it's this one. This shoot was such a success with many photos I'm satisfied with. However, this one just stands at the top for me. As explained previously, everything here just aligns perfectly, in my opinion at least. Anyway, that's it for this week. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.